What I love about investing, uh, and again, is the, uh, the power of dividends. And the other book that I talk about all the time, and this just is also out in a brand new edition. God, I wish I was getting some kind of spiff on these things, but I sure sell a lot of them, is uh, Stocks for the Long Run. Stocks for the Long Run, written by Dr. Jeremy Siegel. This just came out in its uh, fifth edition. And it's all about dividends. Uh, the strategy of uh, stocks for the long run is all about dividends and the power of dividends. But even more than the power of dividends, the, uh, the power of, of the companies that pay these dividends. Uh, it is really amazing to watch this stuff. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit more later on about how I got really I introduced to dividend investing. But a dividend is a, is a great uh, benefit to a shareholder. It's, it's actual real money that you get. You know, stocks can go up in value, but they can very quickly go down in value. But you buy stocks and they pay you a dividend, that's your money, okay? You can do with that as you want. For a lot of people who are retired, they use that to live on. For others like myself, I love reinvesting those dividends and take advantage of what Albert Einstein called the eighth wonder of the world, compounding. And it really does work. So you want to look at companies that have a history of not only paying a dividend for the long run, but also increasing their dividend on a, on a regular annual basis. There's a very elite group of stocks, and you can uh, Google this or Yahoo it when you get home, that are called the dividend aristocrats. Dividend aristocrats. These are companies that have not only paid a dividend for at least 25 years in a row, but they have also increased that dividend for 25 years in a row. There are about, uh, that's not them, but um, there are only 54 companies in the S&P 500 that qualify as dividend aristocrats. And one of them, uh, they're, they're all pretty much companies you would know and, and understand, know whatever product is they make, you, you would know it by the name of the company. Um, Warren Buffett is a big fan of dividends. He loves dividends as well. He, does, he loves dividends so much that he doesn't pay a dividend on his stock to his shareholders, okay? Uh, because his attitude is, hey, I'm, my job is to, is to use this money and invest this money to your benefit. And if I start paying you a dividend, that means I can't find any better use for the money. I might as well step aside and let somebody else do this. And my job is to invest that money in a way that benefits you. So, um, so he loves these companies that pay dividends. And he talks a lot about them. Uh, one of them is Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is one of the great dividend aristocrats. I'm not suggesting you go out and buy the stock. It's a, a great uh, company uh, that uh, has increased its dividend for more than 50 years in a row. Um, and it's, it's amazing what has been accomplished with that. Buffett has been investing in Coca-Cola for many, many, many years. And in his annual letter to shareholders, and you should all go to his website, uh, BerkshireHathaway.com. Does anybody know what that name, why, why Warren Buffett's company is called Berkshire Hathaway? Does anybody know what Hathaway makes? Very good. There's a few that do. Good for you. He, uh, that was his first, uh, when, the, when, when he was, he had a, um, a, a private investment company. And when he decided to go public, the first investment me, he, he made was, uh, uh, was Berkshire Hathaway. It was a textile company that was famous for its shirts. Um, ultimately, and he will admit this, uh, proved to be a terrible investment. It went broke. Uh, but all of his other investments have done, obviously, very well over the years. Um, but um, Coca-Cola, let's go back to Coca-Cola. He has been investing in Coca-Cola for 25, 30 years, something like that. And I don't know the exact amount. I believe he said he's invested about $600 million into Coca-Cola stock over the years. Today, that's worth multiple billions of dollars. But one of the things that, that is interesting is that every year that he's owned that, the company has increased its dividend. And in his letter two years ago to his shareholders, he said, by 2015, we will get an annual payment in dividends equal to the amount of money we've invested in the company. So he'll be getting, through his investment program, $600 million a year in dividends from Coca-Cola. He invested $600 million. He's getting a 100% return on his money every year, just in the form of dividends, never mind the appreciation. Now, did Buffett do anything that was mind-shattering, that was unique, that was uh, a secret that only he knew about? Anybody can do that. Anybody can do that. And so that's the, the kind of investments that are, are so incredibly simple. And again, given that time horizon for your grandkids, uh, can really, really pay off 
big time. It's, it's really a, a powerful driving so, uh, force behind the, the value of those, uh, those companies.